Alright, hello, this is Cheryl Wilson, Abstract Artist, and if you're returning to my channel, thank you again so much. This is another one of the paintings um, I just posted, uh, a gray, uh, black, and white one. This one turned out very multicolored pinks, uh, oranges, but it's another one of my paintings that I started out in one direction really didn't like it they I did several paintings in one day and nothing worked out and I know we've all had days like that nothing and my brain goes okay well you're never going to paint again any painting that looks halfway decent of course I know now that that's just an inner critic thought that pops into my mind and I just say okay go away so I knew that if I kept going on this and I even waited to the next day and grabbed the painting again and sat down and said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep pushing through. And I ended up with, with a painting that I really like. I think this is gonna look great matted and framed in, in maybe a beautiful bedroom, um, a bathroom. Anyway, without further ado, um, let's get this tape rolling so you can see the process of what I went through to get to this end painting. Okay, here again is a uh, watercolor 140 pound paper and again I'm glad I used something a little heavier because I do add a lot of water and a lot of layers on this and it just turned out really beautiful the different layers add to the thickness of the painting and it they don't buckle or anything so I start out very much like the other painting with my woody and I add um, pencil and graphite and water. And so this starts out very much like um, how I start a lot of my, my paintings. I feel very comfortable starting like this. And these two, the other video I did, the black and white one and this one, I, I, I just added lines on either side, which kind of in my mind took me to a direction um, that I kept going with it for a while but then I I didn't I didn't like it so um, and I also as I mentioned in the other video if you haven't seen that yet I tried some new paints uh, Lucas paints which I really love but what happened was I wasn't used to the the thickness it was uh, in between the high flow and the more uh, flowing golden paint I use and the uh, fuller body. And so I just have to get used to the type of paint that um, it was so that I can um, know how it's gonna react on my paper with the style of painting that I, I like to paint.
So this is actually the next day where I let it dry and I'm taking a look at it and I'm wondering where to go from here. I, I see what could be a figure or two figures, so I make an attempt to veer off where I am comfortable in my um, art journey, and that is um, add some figures. And I, I could have kept going, I could have stopped at any time, and um, I could have, um, you know, taken this in the direction where I left it at figures. But you'll see later on, I'm, I'm not comfortable with the, um, the direction I took on the painting. I had fun and that is part of it. I, again, I encourage other artists and I've encouraged and allowed myself to let myself go in a direction and uh, play. And it almost looks like a man talking to a woman and she has her head back just laughing. Um, of course, I don't see that in the painting as I'm painting because I'm looking more at the, um, you know, the, the shapes I'm making as opposed to from a higher up level. But um, I just keep going with the painting and um, you'll see in a few minutes, um, I totally take it in a different direction and um, I'm actually happy that I did, but I had fun. Thank you. 
I think this is about where I'm looking at my painting and I just take it in another direction. And I'm blending in, and I, I do this a lot, and it's something that's kind of fun to do. Um, quinacridone gold and magenta, and they're transparent, and they're the high flows. And that allows what is underneath to be seen through. So a lot of times people will actually paint an entire painting if their painting has colors on it that um, just don't seem to be cohesive a lot of times you'll do a wash as they call it and you might um, add this particular colors of paint with a little bit of water and it just makes a transparent layer over the entire painting and it really turns out beautiful because it gives it all kind of the same glowing uh, connectivity so I am um, allowing a lot of the black to blend through as I'm meandering my way through changing the painting into something again I'm more comfortable with and that's a pure abstract the the figures um, I'll have to practice more on those I just wasn't comfortable with the direction I was going. It was fun. And again, I I encourage myself to take risk and to play because I've done self-portraits and I love them um, where they're very abstract. And I've done figures where they're very abstract where I've added alcohol inks. But this painting just, that wasn't in the, um, the cards for this painting. So I am now enjoying the direction I'm going with the pinks and the, the golds and the oranges. Again, adding the black and white, which I'm comfortable with. Adding circular lines, which I'm comfortable with. Those are all things that are my marks and um, painting with my fingers. These are all things that I feel comfortable with in my signature piece. Uh, parts of how I paint adding in more graphite and pencil so I'm starting to look at the painting uh, with the ending in mind and feeling a little more comfortable with the direction that I took and um, I'll just let you watch uh, the rest of the video and I'll pop in if there's anything um, to point out
So as I finished this painting, I like where I'm at. I like the process I took. And I want to encourage you to just keep going on the painting. Just keep playing with it. Add the things that you know you love, that you feel comfortable with, and they will come out in a different style. And I can just envision this matted um, with a larger white mat and a, and a gray frame. And I hope you enjoyed this. I, I hope these videos are something that, um, you know, of benefit to you. Let me know if there's anything else that I can do for you. If there's any questions I can answer, I don't mind sharing. And I'll share what I can, my abstracts or... Um, not for everybody and my videos are for everybody, but I I hope that uh, You can learn something from them. That's why I do it um, That's why I spend the time to do it for you. So I appreciate um, You visiting me here and give me a thumbs up if um, To encourage me to keep going. So have a great day and thank you again for joining me